greetings. You know, it's interesting now the big topic is about um, Obamacare and what it's doing to the economy or what it will do to the economy or what it will do to American businesses. And it's it's real interesting because a lot of the discussion that we hear about is how Obamacare is forcing companies to um, bring about more part-time employees and part-time being 29 hours or less. And so because of the burdens of Obamacare, um, companies are now cutting the hours of employees. And so Obamacare is hurting the workers and it's giving people less income and because of the burden that it's bringing to companies. And so it's a burden on everyone. It's a burden on the companies. It's a burden on the employees. And so it's bad. And, you know, I find myself in an interesting place because I am a Republican, and I've been very active in the Republican Party, um, but I'm a Christian first, so they don't like me, I know, and I've been persona non grata in the Republican Party lately, and that's fine, whatever, um, but it begs the question, is it really Obamacare that's the issue, or is it something else? You see, especially when I look at reports that talk about how um, last year American corporate profits reached an all-time high, and actually a lot of that growth was fueled by domestic profits reaching an all-time high, nevertheless, um, compensation wages of American workers are at an all-time low, or at least lower than they were back in the 50s. Um, and so this gap between what corporations are making and what employees are making is just widening and widening and widening. Yet somehow the issue that's forcing companies to cut hours is Obamacare. I really don't understand that. And so I ask the question, is it Obamacare or is it our lack of compassion? I mean, some people may say greed, some people may say capitalism. Some people may say, um, you know, any myriad of things people may want to say. But the Christian in me, the theologian in me, looks at compassion. And so here it is, you have businesses that earn a heck of a lot of money. But rather than spend some of that money to take care of their employees, they rather cut their employees' hours so they can keep earning money or earn more money um, while blaming it on the government. And it's interesting how people on the right, my people, um, would want to, you know, talk about the poor when they look to government or, or blaming government for their situation or blaming the system for um, their lot in life. But when the tables are turned, they want to blame government um, for the situation for the economic climate. They want to blame government for um, what's happening to the workers. Um, and it's interesting that while the right is crying that Obama is, President Obama is bringing about socialism, um, they're wreaking record profits. They're, they're bringing in record profits. So how is it that we're in a socialist climate and corporations are bringing in record profits it doesn't it doesn't add up and it's like smoke screen and you know i just want people to wake up and and see that um what we're being told is not really the case and that we shouldn't allow um the powers that be to fool us and continue to fool us um because if profits are up then it cannot be the government's fault or Obamacare's fault that um, they're cutting workers' hours. If profits are up, the only reason you cut workers' hours is because you don't want to pay them. You don't want to pay those benefits. You want to keep your profits high. No one's saying that you should go into the red, into the negative, in order to take care of your employees, even though there is something to be said for that. But just so that you don't earn as much profit if you could take care of your employees, the very employees who make your, your company profitable, can't do that. 
That's not Obamacare's fault. That's a fault within our souls and who we are as a people and, and how we look at each other as a people. And so, you know, what this, in my mind as a theologian, what this Obamacare issue is bringing about is it's showing us, it's shining a light on who we are as a society and our compassion. And it's easy for us to, to blame it on Obama and blame it on the government rather than to take responsibility and look at ourselves and see our own parts in the problem. And so we just blame it on Obama because it's the easy thing. You know, um, in other news, and, and, and somewhat related to Obama, um, only because it's Kenyan, um, I don't know if you've heard about this, but I have, and I'm wondering, I haven't heard about it, I hadn't heard about it, but I have now, and I was wondering if you had. It seems that in Jersey City, New Jersey, a few days ago, I think it was on the 11th of so or August, a man, um, Jeffrey Kalibwa, I think was his last name, Kalibwa, I can't pronounce it, forgive me, he's Kenyan, um, was found hanging from a tree. Now, the police are saying that there's no foul play involved. They, they think that he committed suicide. However, witnesses report that his hands were tied with a rope. Um, and so somehow his hands were tied with a rope, but he still hung himself. And it's crazy. Um, if, you, if, you, if you look on our Facebook page, jobbread.com um, Facebook page, um, www.facebook.com slash job red site, you'll see um, the news article posted about this, uh, this guy who was found hanging from a tree, and there's no real news being t said about it. You don't hear it anywhere on the mainstream media, uh, and it just boggles the mind that um, something as heinous as this could happen or even seem to happen. We don't know the details yet of what happened, but the mere fact that no one is even talking about it, it just begs the question of what's going on in our society. And so I, I invite you to, to, to look, at, look at the page, find that link, um, and read the story and just share that story and, and, and maybe um, bring some pressure to, to the authorities to do some sort of investigation, give us some sort of news so that we can find out what's going on on behalf of the people in Jersey City who, who want to know what happened to this man. Um, anyway, just a few things that I'm breaking bread about this week. Uh, I invite you to come break bread with me. Um, visit the website, jobbread.com. Visit my Facebook page. Um, subscribe to this YouTube channel and just hit me with your questions, your comments, whether they're good, whether they're bad, whatever. I can take it. You know, my skin is kind of thick, so I, I can take your comments. I look forward to them. Let's break bread. Peace. Jobbread.com is home to the online ministry of Father Jobbread. Journey with us through the wilderness to God's promised land. Subscribe now to Jobbread TV and receive all of his videos.